Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode of the MRS project, I'm going to be setting up a paint booth. I'm going to be using the paint booth to paint things like the under panels, the, the underside of the deck lid, um, the center console, uh, a few things. Anyway, you'll see generally how I set it up, kind of how I set up to have generally near static pressure inside the booth with an intake and an exhaust, um, both with filters, but it is, it's not like a perfectly sealed paint booth or like something that you would see at a professional like painting place. But I think it does a really good job of keeping dust and contaminants out and keep, more importantly, keeping any of the paint particles in. Well, let's get started. Prep time. Time to get the deck lid ready to go for painting the underside. Time to get the transmission ready to go. You can see I've already started to set up the paint booth. As long as I walk between these, I won't hit my head, which means I'm gonna definitely hit my head a bunch of times on these uh, little pieces here. Now I'm gonna just start basically laying out the, the main pieces that aren't the uh, plastic wrap. Uh, this would be the two uh, filter panels. You get one intake filter and an exhaust filter. Um, so I like to set up a floor so there's, you know, you're not getting the paint all over the floor. It's, uh, it makes it a lot easier to clean up and uh, gives the paint something to sort of stick to. Uh, most of it's just kind of dry when it falls anyway, but it's just good to have a, a, a decent floor type setup. I need to set up a surface that I can paint the medium sized items on using the two saw horses wood uh, is mainly going to be used for the transmission as well as some other smaller things those things will be uh, featured in some future videos now it's time to put up all the plastic i'm going to be securing it up to the top with some clamps uh, as well as i'll be using some masking tape to where it kind of makes sense um, i mean i have a good number of clamps but i don't have you know just tons of them so the main thing is to get this mostly sealed uh, so it you know, keeps it you know, pretty much all contained. Uh, try to keep dirt out, keep paint in, you know, that sort of thing. Now that the two sides are done, we're going to set up the filter panels. The rear one's going to go in front of the box fan that sits on top of a uh, portable work table. And the rear, as you can see, is... Um, down low and we'll get sort of an exhaust port uh, box construction kind of attached to it. As you can see I'm sort of reusing some of the plastic out of that box that was used um, in the engine bay painting project. Uh, no sense in wasting it if it's still usable and I'm kind of taping and sealing areas as I go. The whole process kind of constructs everything sort of in layers uh, this is just kind of how it made sense to me. Now to add the rear panel. And now we see it all finished. You can see the uh, intake over here, bring air in, and then that'll kind of go across, kind of exit it out the back. This is the sort of exhaust tunnel that goes to this fan pulling the air out. Here's the filter change process. I designed and 3D printed these little plastic guides that are sort of attached to the cardboard. Uh, they make swapping out the filters pretty easy. And now it's time to tear everything down. It goes down a little bit quicker than it went up, obviously. Um, it's really just a matter of disassembling things, um, not just wrecking everything and kind of taking it down in a, in a systematic way. 
so I can contain most of the waste. As you can see, the plastic's all going in one area. holding plastic from the previous job but in this case it's going to start holding all the cardboard so we can go out for recycling. The tent canopy just fold your right back up it gets uh, put away and now it's basically the home stretch just uh, a rinse and repeat of you know, stuffing cardboard putting things away and cleaning as I go. and done. As you can see, I also showed the teardown of the booth. So you can kind of see from start to finish sort of what's involved with setting it up. You don't need a lot, just a um, like 10 by 10 tent canopy. The ones that are really eight by eight and like the feet kind of come down at an angle are a little easier to use for these. If you're in limited space in a garage like I was, I was able to set this one up and have it in the garage and close the garage door so I could leave it up for multiple days. The exhaust box that you saw, the flaps at the end were able to be kind of folded back and then I moved the fan out of the way. The whole thing was able to, the door was able to close. And once it was all done, I was able to take the plastic down, put all that, you know, bag it up, get it ready for garbage. and. Uh, it worked out really well. I was able to paint a good amount of things with it. And speaking of, that's what will be in the next coming segment. Well, be sure to give a like if you liked the video and subscribe. Ring the bell to get notifications of new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.